Hey everyone, so I am back with a new Halloween tutorial and today I'm going to be doing Ito Yoshimura from Tokyo Ghoul Season 2. She is the founding leader of Aogiri Tree and she's interested in Kaneki Ken specifically because of his power. She is also a one-eyed ghoul so it's, it's kind of cool in Season 2 to see how they interact with each other. Um, she also hides her face in these bandages just because she doesn't want her identity to be seen. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try to do her look today. Bazooka? I don't know if I can that. You. Shut up. We have some guards over <laughs> here. Kevin, you being, you're being a punk. You shut up. Punk. Move out the way. Surgical tape, which we'll be using for the mask. And I also got some fabric from Joann's. This is like a nice purple fabric. I know like it's more maroon in the pictures, but some of the pictures are also purple and I like this color a lot. So we're going to stick with this instead. I got two, actually I got three yards of this. So this will be enough to make the dress and also the hood and also the like the two little um, ears, 360 scarf around her neck with the whole outfit. So I'm going to try to make this into that as well. And then after I'm going to pretty much bandage. Glue. Yeah, we're going to use glue. We're not going to use any, um, you know, sewing materials today. So yeah, we're going to do that. And hopefully this turns out to be a really good piece. And I'm your intelligence. You're also using your intelligence. Yeah. Okay. But we're going to have to really try for that one. <laughs> Shut up. But let's get started guys. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never actually kind of put a dress together before. So this will be the first time. I don't want to sew this. Um, if the dress does come apart, I will end up sewing the materials together. But for now, we'll be using hot glue. There's barely going to be any makeup involved in this. So I'm only going to be putting makeup around my eyes. My face is mostly going to be covered with a mask. So that's going to be the really fun part about this whole thing. That's pretty easy, but I think like putting the costume together itself might be a little bit lengthy. So yeah, just stay tuned for that and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. I want you guys to keep in mind that I am not a professional cosplayer, nor is this a cosplay type of look. This is kind of solely for Halloween, which is why I did this with like glue and not used like any sewing materials, barely honestly for this. Um, so everything is not measured. Everything is just done like by eye. Um, so just know that. I'm going to start first with the torso, so I'm just kind of cutting that out first. I already used one of my old t-shirts, it's just kind of like a guide for me to see how big this should be. I also left some extra room just in case I wouldn't be able to fit into it, and that really helped a lot. In this next step, I'm just going to go in and cut the neck of the shirt. I'm just kind of measuring it from the t-shirt that I already had, and I'm just kind of cutting that open. Um, basically, I'm going in from the folded side. Once that is done, I'm just going in on the edges where everything is not as clean. I'm rolling them up and I'm going in to hot glue them so that everything is seamless at the ends. Make sure that you're doing this inside out so that once you turn it the right side, um, it's not going to be showing all of the hot glue marks. Um, after I did this, I just went ahead and did it on all sides and then I was good. You always have the option of sewing this together. I'm just doing this because I wanted to speed the process up or also it would have taken me days to do this and it only took me a few hours just because I used the hot glue. After hot gluing the seams, I'm going in now and I'm just kind of putting the whole shirt together or the torso together, um, just on both sides. I'm not going to do the bottom part because of course that's where I'm going to kind of get into the whole dress itself. And now in this clip, it kind of jumped a bit. I actually just went ahead and I added some fabric for the skirt. I don't really have measurements for this and there's not really a way that I can explain it. I just kind of cut both sides and um, just really put it together. I honestly just made it into an A-line so that I would have enough room for my legs. And I have to do the same thing to the other side. So basically I was working from the back and now I'm working at the front. Now that I've shaped both sides of the skirt, it's time to close up the sides and then we're good to go. 
So for this next step, I just went ahead and got an old zipper from a skirt that I had, and I was going to use this for the dress, and it worked out perfectly, thank goodness. Um, I just kind of cut um, the back part of the dress in half and got it ready for the zipper. Make sure that you don't put the fabric too close to the zipper part or else it can get caught into it. I made sure of that and wherever I was too close, I just went ahead and I cut that fabric off and it worked out. And look at this you guys, the dress actually came together and guess what, it fit. I can't believe it. Um, I eyeballed this entire thing and it really did come together. It doesn't look good obviously, but it works for the video. Now let's move on to the bandage mask. So I got this from Goodwill for about $2. Um, I did not want to put bandages all over my face like she has it because I don't want to ruin my skin. So I got some microfiber tape which kind of acts as like a cloth material after you put it on. Um, so I just went ahead and I covered the entire mask with this. And it is a lot more malleable than like regular scotch tape or you know any other tape that you can get from Michaels I feel like is kind of stiff, but this really kind of gets into place like cloth does. And the cool thing about this is that you can layer it up as much as you want and you won't be uncomfortable because again this is a mask, you're not putting it directly onto your skin which is what I like the best, so you don't really have to do with much makeup at all. Uh, depending on what kind of mask that you get, you can adjust the eyes. Um, I had to kind of cut in a little bit more because they were a little bit too small for my face and it was kind of irritating my skin. Um, and now I'm kind of going in to the arms of, of the dress and I'm just cutting in like little rips into it like she has it in her dress. And yeah, it was pretty easy. Now it's time for the hood of the dress. Um, she basically has a little hoodie with ears on it, which I think is really, really cute. Um, so we're cutting this out of the fabric. I'm just kind of going to an edge where it's folded, and I'm kind of cutting the, the same shape that I already have from an old jacket that I own, and I was good to go. This next part, I kind of just thought of it myself, so I basically sewed um, a fold over the edges just so that I could make it look more seamless and less like flappy looking for the hood part. It's okay if the fabric kind of bunches up like this. I think it kind of makes more of a shape of a hoodie anyway, which I didn't mind. And then after that, I kind of just went in and I sewed it along the edge of the neck. Make sure that you don't kind of go into the zipper. For some reason, I had to leave a hole there, which was completely fine for me because again, it's just a video. It's just for Halloween. So yeah, after that, I went ahead and I made the ears. I just kind of made them a little bit bigger than what they look like so that whenever you fold over the fabric, it's not too skinny or too small and it kind of went really well. I'm gonna show you in this next clip how I do that. Um, I basically just hot glue the edges uh, inside out and then I kind of turn it on the right side. Make sure that you stay close to the edges because it is kind of easy to kind of get the glue everywhere. Um, you can go ahead and stuff these if you want, but I just decided not to. And here is where I had to micro bandage my skin and I was not pleased with this. I kind of made it a little bit too tight at some point but you can adjust it however you want um, but once the tape sticks together it acts like a cloth and it just really sticks so be careful with that. Um, it wasn't comfortable at first but then I really got used to it and it just felt like leggings on my skin. Um, I will say though if you don't have shaved skin like I did taking it off really really hurts so just be aware of that. If you want to you can use like gauze I guess for that but I'm not really sure how to make it stick to your skin. Now for my eyes, I'm going in and I'm adding just like a, uh, a black ink just so that whenever I close my eyes, it looks like I have no eyes. Um, I could have gotten like one red contact, but I decided it wasn't necessary for this tutorial. Um, so yeah. And in this clip, Kevin had to help me bandage myself because I couldn't do it. Um, my legs were too stiff and my other arm was also 
immobile. <laughs> so just know that um, if you can find an easier way to do this, I'm sure that there's a way where you can go out with this look, but I don't recommend using the microfiber tape and leaving out the house with it. It's just not going to be realistic. And look at that, you guys, we really did this. It looks amazing. I'm so happy that it came out really good. To me, I, I really surprised myself with this costume. I was just happy that there was little to no makeup involved. Um, the focus is of the costume itself, which is really cool. And I actually like the process of making the mask for this look. So if you wanna go ahead and try it out, I think it's a very doable look. I would recommend using a cloth um, to wrap up your arms. Other than that, it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Um, I hope that you guys like this video. If you haven't watched Tokyo Ghoul season two, go ahead and watch it. It's pretty interesting. Um, hopefully there's gonna be a season three out really soon. And this is Ito Yoshimura. Bye guys. Happy Halloween.